Greetings and welcome to GRA 310, Week 2, Digital Graphic Design for the Web. Congratulations, you've written your first bit of code. From now on until the end of the term, you'll be building on this uh, bit of code, step by step, to complete a website by the end of the term. You'll be using uh, GeoCities as your server. What a server is, is a hard drive remotely uh, that serves up content to the user upon request. And you can see, think of it um, as just an external hard drive. Uh, in this case, it's GeoCities, which is in Samoa. And uh, <clears throat> while I'm talking about the location of the GeoCities server, um, I want to prepare you for a little bit of lag time. Uh, considering that Western or Samoa is quite a ways away, um, expect some frustration when you upload files to it. I'll give a little demo about uploading uh, to GeoCities. Now, it's recommended that you use Cyberduck as your FTP client. What FTP stands for is File Transfer Protocol. It's the protocol that allows you to send files, whether they're photographs or images, or HTML text, or CSS. Uh, it allows you, it speaks the language of the server, and allows you to place files on there. You can consider uh, the GeoCities server as an external hard drive. Now, in order for the server to recognize file content, your files have to be named very carefully. And there's a worksheet, which I believe is 2-2 uh, in this week's um, assignments, that you can follow. I also wanted to make you aware of my availability. I want you to be able to uh, call me, or feel free to call me, uh, at any reasonable hour. And here's my number here. Um, or, you know, we can arrange to meet via FaceTime, phone, or Skype. In our discussion, our goal this week is to uh, evaluate the, um, the, eval the, well, evaluate being tech savvy. That's our discussion. And, you know, it's pretty uh, obvious, but think about ways in which being tech savvy has helped you out. You know, perhaps it's been an issue that arised at work. Um, anyway, that's our discussion topic. Read the assigned textbook chapters, <clears throat> uh, and so write your initial post for the week's discussion. Review the following W3Schools videos and tutorials, uh, especially the HTML comments and HTML5 style guides and coding conventions. And then complete the file naming worksheet, which is included in that module. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, complete the coding activity, which are the invisible comments um, called meta tags. Uh, in your HTML. Now, I say invisible because although you can see them as you write them in your HTML, they don't appear on the screen. They're really meant uh, for reference for you as you develop your web pages. And then, of course, you know, return to the discussion forum often during the week uh, to see what other people's comments on the value of learning HTML and CSS. Now, uh, Here's a few things, you know, when you, when you go to GeoCities, note that it's .ws, that stands for Samoa. So it's a curious uh, domain name, but this is where you go for the free uh, <clears throat> website. So you'll probably want to go to web hosting, um, and, you know, free hosting is what you want for this class. Uh, you'll come up with a uh, dialog box that looks something like this. Okay, here it is. It's the, it's the Homesteader account. <clears throat> It's free for life. Now, of course, you know, as you add features, let's say you want to make a shopping cart uh, to your website at some point, you may need to pay money if you decide to keep it on GeoCities. There are other, there are numerous other uh, web servers out there that are, are free up to a point. Anyway, I'm going to go to uh, sign up now for the free Homesteader account. You should see something like this. Um, <clears throat> you're going to need your email address, um, your name, um, and then you're, you're going to pick a domain name. So I don't know, students have used various things. Um, you, might, you might anticipate using this to host your, your portfolio website. So you might use your name. Um, and if something run on, file naming conventions, you might want to study that before you name yours. Um, but something like, I've named mine Frank Tierney, all run on. Um, <clears throat> And you'll have to decide on a password of at least six characters. And it's all pretty much standard. So remember those two things, username, which is, will be your uh, web address, and your password. And it's like all other things that you signed up for. Um, you'll need your user ID and your password to log on to your account. 
Now, once you have an account, uh, let me show you what that might look like. Now, this is what the, the contents of a student's directory looks like. Now, I show you this to you because uh, it might be wise to, to anticipate uh, the weeks ahead. Uh, this is Max uh, Strzok's uh, GeoCities account, and it has his uh, file organization. And it's by module. Um, so if you take a look at module 2, uh, you'll see that he has his developing page of HTML. You can click on that to view it. Um, and all the way up to weeks, you know, say 8, where he's got his full-fledged website uh, that goes right to it. This is for town restaurant. You know, this is impressive, and um, I show this to you because uh, his file structure is exemplary. So you might want to anticipate putting your files in folders. Now, how to do that? How do you upload? <clears throat> now, when you once you have a GeoCities account, uh, you'll get this menu. And this is a really quick way of FTP. Some uh, servers have built-in FTP clients. That is, they you don't need the uh, CyberDuck or any other FTP client. It's built in. And they call it a file manager. So <clears throat> I've logged into my account using my user ID and my password. If you click on file manager in this first menu that you get, um, it'll open up the contents of your uh, account on GeoCities. And you can see that I've uh, uploaded uh, some files here. I have a directory just for pasta and mori. Um, and just, you know, this is the demonstration purposes only. And I have an early, um, whoops, not now. I have an early um, home page for pasta and mori that I built uh, for purposes of demonstration. Okay, so you don't have to use CyberDuck. Uh, CyberDuck will give you a different menu, but the principle is the same. You'll have to key in your user ID and your GeoCities password, uh, and it'll come up with a two-panel um, window where you can drag and drop files. Now note that you are probably better off uploading files or directories or folders individually, one at a time. Don't try to uh, upload a folder with lots of contents. It won't work. Upload the folder first, and then add to the folder uh, individual files. Note here, too, that I have a folder for images, and I've kept the index.html um, outside uh, of any directory or folder. This will help you uh, in the future when you have several index.html files. Lastly, as you build and design your website, you're going to want to ensure that it's performing properly across multiple browsers. Use browser shots uh, to test your website for performance, uh, and it will <clears throat> give you uh, uh, screenshots of what it looks like in Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, and so forth. It's a lot easier to use something like browser shots uh, than to go, you know, download various browsers on your computer and look at your web pages um, using them. But sometimes that's the best way, and that is to have multiple browsers on your computer so that you can view your files directly. Now, <clears throat> also, uh, keep a record of your um, browser shots, and uh, you can combine them into a single uh, PDF for submission. But um, go to the assignment guidelines and rubrics for clarification. The principle is that you're going to want to test your uh, website on as many platforms and browsers. So that means not only browsers, but also computers, uh, Windows, as well as uh, iOS or um, Apple, Macintosh. So um, good luck to you. Call me before you get discouraged at any reasonable hour.